Hey, hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are doing great. It's been a while since I haven't really uploaded any videos, yeah. I've been busy with my life lately. In fact, just a few days back, I finished one of my last finals, which means I'm having few weeks here that I can spend on creating my contents here and upload videos. So let's just hope for the best here. But before I move on onto today's topic, I just want to let you guys know that if you are someone new to my video and you don't know what is this channel about, then I make videos regarding to Discord, tips, tricks, and tutorials from the very basic level to advanced level. So if you are someone new to Discord or you have been using Discord for a while, and you want to learn more, you know, the tips and tricks, or you want to learn how to expand your server, grow your server, make it better, and so on, then make sure to subscribe below, because in the future, I'm definitely going to make videos regarding to these topics. So let's hop into today's topic. Now, today's video has to do with my previous videos, which has to do with two-factor authentication. Many of you people have been asking me that, you know, there is an issue with connecting your phone number with Discord and so on. So I just thought I should mention this in today's video, making things clear why you receive invalid error when you connect your phone number with Discord. Now, there are several reasons, but before I move on, I just want to give you guys a brief introduction and explanation on why phone number is an option within Discord. Now, you see, Discord is a very large platform, and Discord wants to keep their community, their platform, clean, nice, and clear, you know. So, Discord added phone verification as an option so they can prevent bots or self-bots or robots, whatever you want to say. They can just prevent those kind of people creating alts accounts and, you know, scamming people and so on. So it's kind of beneficial for Discord themselves to keep the community clean and nice. And as well, it's very beneficial for us as a community members, users who are using Discord. Now, how is it beneficial? In my previous video, I have mentioned that, you know, you should enable two-factor authentication. If you have not watched that video, then make sure to watch it because that video is really helpful and it is going to save your life on using Discord. So during that video, when I said that you should enable two-factor authentication, I recommended that you should also enable your phone verification. Now, there are some issues here where Discord can't really verify your phone and it gives you an error instead saying that your phone number is invalid. One of the basic first main issue is that when you are connecting your Discord with a phone number, you do realize that Discord is asking for phone number. So that means that you cannot really use a landline number, a prepaid number, a postpaid or whatever you want to just change it instead of your phone number. They just don't really work. If you actually want to verify your Discord with your phone number, you must use a mobile number to verify. Other than that, you cannot really, you know, verify your Discord with a random number. That's one of the basic reasons I have realized. Another reason is that when you're actually inserting your phone number to verify with your Discord account, you need to make sure you're having the correct country code. Now, most of the time, people are sometimes in a hurry or they just, I don't know, they don't really care or they don't see. They just don't insert the country code correct. Sometimes Discord detects, I believe, according to where you live and it automatically gives you your country code and you can just, you know, type in your phone number forward. But just in case, make sure you're having the correct country code before entering your phone number. This is one of the main reason, which is why Discord is obviously going to give you an invalid error saying that this phone number is invalid. It's a common sense. One of the last reasons, which is one of the most common raised questions, is when you're having an alt account and you want to verify your phone number with multiple Discord accounts, or when you're trying to use your friends or siblings or your parents' phone number on your Discord account and that phone number is actually already used somewhere else. Now, the first question here is that can you actually use one phone number on multiple accounts? Now, I have personally tried this myself and the answer so far is yes, you can verify multiple accounts with same phone number. 
However, there is a timeout. So let's just say your phone has just been registered and you know, it is on timeout. Once you insert a phone number on one account, there is a timeout, which means you have to wait for a certain amount of time until you can use the same phone number on a different account. Now, personally, I have not really had any issues with this other than this error that I received. If you try to verify two different accounts at the same time rapidly after each other, you are pretty much going to get an error saying invalid phone number or your phone number has been used somewhere else. However, let's just say that you're trying to connect your second account with the same phone number which you have verified with your first account. And it's still giving you an invalid error even though you have verified your first account for a very long time. Now, in that case, I don't really think you can do anything. All I can say is use a different phone number. But let's just say you're having the same issue with your very first account and you have never really used that phone number on any other accounts. Then what I would recommend here is just, you know, go and contact Discord and they're going to help you out with that. Anyways, these are some of the basic reasons I believe which is why you people receive an invalid error when verifying your phone number. I just thought I should make a video regarding to this topic because in my previous videos I have mentioned a lot to verify your phone number with your Discord account. Just for your own safety, I myself have done that and I recommend personally, I think it is mandatory, not mandatory at least just you know for nowadays discord is being attacked by a lot of people so just for your own safety have it enabled at least have two-factor authentication enabled and if you don't know why then i have explained that on my previous video i will link it down below make sure to check it out anyways that's all for today i hope this video was helpful if you really enjoyed watching this video and it was really helpful then make sure to leave a like and you know just subscribe if you have not already otherwise your discord is going to get hacked anyways <laughs> take care peace out